It's recording now. No. Okay, hello, other little girls. Hello. Hi. I'd like to introduce myself. My name is your daddy, Roberto Abelido. Remember me? Yes. Yes, you remember me. That's good. For the past couple of weeks, you have been asking me for money. And what have I told you about money? You got to do what if you want money? Sure. Got to earn it. You got to earn your money, right? Yes. So guess what? Today, I'm here to offer you a job position. The Abelido household assistant position here in the Abelido household of which you are a part of. So today I am going to brief you on the duties and responsibilities of the Abelido household assistant. Are you prepared for your brief? Yes. yes. Great. This is an unclassified brief and uh, safety considerations are low. So uh, let's get started. Please have a seat and please hold your questions to the end of the brief. Understood? Understood. Understood. Thank you very much. Are you motivated today? Yes. You are motivated. That's wonderful. Okay. Camera, are we ready? Mm -hmm. Okay, wonderful. Thank you. All right, so today is 5 August 2018. Like I mentioned, this brief is unclassified, and we're going to be talking about the duties and responsibilities of the Abelito Household Assistant. The purpose of this brief is to describe in detail the duties and responsibilities of the Abelito Household Assistant position. We're going to discuss the perks and the pay of the Abelito Household Assistant. Um, assistant position as well. Any answer, any lingering questions that you may have at the end of the brief. Understand? Understand. Thank you very much. I need you to sound off. Do you understand? Yes? Okay, say yes, Daddy. Yes, Daddy. Okay, wonderful. Thank you. All right, so the household assistant duties are as follows. You're going to maintain your clean room. That means in the morning before you go to school, your room will be clean. There will be nothing on the floor and your bed will be made, just like I taught you, right? Okay, you're going to throw out the garbage as needed. If you see that the garbage is overflowing, you will pack it up, you will take it outside, and you will put it in a fresh bag inside of that garbage can. Is that understood? Understood. All right, you're going to vacuum the living room and the hallway. So you're going to plug it into that outlet right there. This is what I need you to This immediate area right here is all you will be responsible for vacuuming. Mommy and Daddy will clean your rooms and we'll clean that hallway back there. Understand? Understand. All right, you will wipe down the furniture. Back here, we have a myriad of... Uh, uh, furniture wiping stuff that you can use to wipe down the couch, wipe down the wood, and wipe down um, the, all of these electronics over here, okay? Alright, live yard work is needed. You did some of that for the past couple of weeks where you take out the weeds up front. Do you remember doing that? Yes. You did a great job. Congratulations. You're going to continue to do that. It'll be live yard work. You're going to pick those weeds up and you'll put it in the bag. And you're going to be done, okay? Okay. Cleaning the dishes. That can either be done by hand or you can be do, uh, done using the dishwasher over here, which I've taught you to use. It's pretty easy, right? But I prefer that you do it by hand because the dishes come out a lot cleaner. Understand? Okay. Okay. Wiping down the floorboards. The floorboards are down here. It's simple. You take a wipe and you just wipe it down until you get rid of all the dust. Understand? Understand. Wonderful. Now, we will discuss the perks. Your salary is $1 a day for Olivia. 50 cents a day for Emma. That equals to $7 a week for Olivia and then $3.50 a week for Emma. You will be paid on Sunday, every Sunday. This is your initial paycheck. I'm giving you an advance. Here's $7. Here's $3.50. You can use that money for whatever you want. Okay? That's an advance when you pay, which means that if you don't fulfill your duties for this week, I'm taking my money back. Understand? Understand. Okay. Another perk is movie night. You will have one movie trip a month. You will consult with your daddy for the details on that movie. It needs to be an appropriate movie, and it needs to be at a time that we can actually do it and we don't have anything planned. So if you know that a movie is coming out, you will come up to me, and you will let me know, hey, daddy, I want to see that movie, and I will take you down to the movie theater if we can on that day, and we, we, we will schedule it on the set. Okay. Okay. Park trips. You will have bi-weekly park trips, okay, under, under, your, uh, under your perks, okay? So you just have to come up to me and tell me, Daddy, on this and this day, I would like to go to the park. It needs to be a weekend. Only on the weekends or on a day that we're off from school. Yes, please, I said, save your questions to the end of the, to, to the, end of the brief, okay? okay? All right. And your last perk is unlimited hugs and kisses from your mommy and daddy. Those are not free. You've been getting them for free. Well, guess what? And you're going to earn them. Those kisses and hugs are not free, okay? But now, under the Abelito Household Position, uh, uh, position Abelito Household Assistant Position, you will get unlimited hugs and kisses. All you have to do is come up to your daddy and mommy to get your hugs and kisses. Understand? Okay. Okay, wonderful. 
Let's talk about the uniform. This is the uniform. It'll be here tomorrow. This is your apron. This is uniform. Will be enforced whenever you're conducting any of these activities. It will be worn during all cleaning activities, except of course when you're maintaining and cleaning a room. Okay. So when you wake up, you don't have to put on your apron to make up your bed. You simply make up your bed. But if you're doing the dishes, if you're doing yard work, if you're cleaning the floorboards, if you're wiping down the furniture or you're vacuuming, you will wear your apron so that you don't mess up your, your, your clothes. Understand? Understand. All right. As soon as you're done with your duties for the day, for the entire day, you will put your aprons in the hamper immediately after you use it. Any questions on that? No, sir. Hold on one second. Hold on to your questions. Now, what are your questions? Emma. Stand up. So, like... Speak up. Stand up. Your apron doesn't, Stand up. Your apron doesn't get messed, your clothes don't get messed up because your uniform costs money and you don't want to mess it up. Yes, that's true. Is, is there a question or is this a statement? A statement. A statement. Thank you very much for your thoughts. That is correct. We use the apron so we don't mess up our clothes because clothes cost money. And guess where money is good? And, and guess where the, the more money we spend on clothes, the less money we have to go out and do fun stuff, right? Yes. Exactly. Very good. Olivia. Is Ty getting a promotion? Uh, so we are uh, working on a job position for Sky, our perfect doggy. Come here, baby. Come here, Shababi. Okay. But that job is tentative. I'm still creating a position for her. Right now, she she is the designated cuteness representative of the Abelico household. Okay? Okay? Thank you. Yes, Emma. So she helped us. What? She protected us when we're like doing some weird your, your work and like she helps, she protects us if, um, and she protects us from losses if we get bitten by one, she like scares it. That is correct. Uh, Sky's j job, tentative job right now is to protect you guys from wasp and bees while you're doing yard work. Also to protect you from mean people while you're outside playing. That is her job. She has a security job, right? Sky? Yes. Olivia? So, like, if somebody gets hurt while they're doing the job, mm -hmm. can we stop the job and then go clean it up? Yes. You will employ proper safety precautions, okay? okay, before you do any job. If you think that the job is too risky or you feel that you're going to get hurt, you're going to immediately stop and you're going to contact your mommy and your daddy to come and take a look at the job that you're doing, okay? okay. To make sure that you're doing everything safety. Both of you are, so everybody in this family is a safety officer, okay? So if you see something wrong, it doesn't matter who you are, you will stop that person from conducting that job and make sure, and can go back and make sure they're doing it safely, you understand? understand? Okay. Safety, very important. Yes? If you, if you hurt yourself, if you fall, hit, um, scratch yourself on the grass, on, the, on your arm, you can, like, do clean, go inside, hold on a second, check someone there to clean it first, they have to look at that, and then look at it. That's right, Emma just described the perfect uh, safety procedures. If somebody does get hurt on the job, they will stop whatever they're doing, they're gonna go and take care of their wounds, go take their money, they need to come take care of their wounds, and then if, if, it's, if, it, if it's okay, if your wounds are okay, we don't need to go to the hospital, then you can continue doing your tasks. That is correct. All right, is that all the questions? Okay, if those are all the questions that you have, thank you very much for, jo oh, we have one more question. Yes, Emma. So. That's true. Yes, band-aids will be dispersed as needed, okay? And immediately after you get done with your chores, which your, your duties, then you will be um, allowed to go outside and play, the, depending on the time. Yes? So, say we're trying to do a job and there's this thing that's trying to stop us. Like, yes, like what? Like a wasp. Like a wasp. Like if a wasp is inside of the house, okay. we get somewhere that we're supposed to clean. Yes. What will we do? You will stop what you're doing. If you feel that it's unsafe, you will come get your mommy and daddy, and mommy and daddy will evaluate the, the situation to see if it's safe for you to continue. That's it. Okay, since there are no further questions, yes. If you do this, 
<laughs> Last question. Yes. You'll be doing some yard work if, I'm gonna see. if there's no if there's no work, if if a watch is coming, you have to go inside, um, take a little break, and then go outside if it's safe. That's correct, yes. Uh, once you once once we determine that they're safe, you guys will go outside and continue to do your work. All right, that's all the time we have for questions. Thank you very much for joining us for the Yabaluto Household Brief. I would like to personally thank you. Come up here and shake my hand. And welcome you to the Yabaluto Household Team family. Come over here. Household assistant, you guys will make some great. Come over here. You guys are going to make some great Yabaluto Household assistants. Uh, you, again, you will be paid every, every, every uh, Sunday. And uh, we wish you the best of luck. I will tell you that there is room for promotions. If after a one month, so today is the first week of the month, after the month is done, if I say that you guys have done a great job, you might get a raise, okay? You might get maybe a 50 cent raise. Instead of making a dollar a day, you get a dollar 50 a day. If you are making a dollar 50 cents, guess what? You might be making a dollar. It all depends on your performance. So if you do well, all right, then you might get a promotion, okay? You might get a raise. Understand? All right, thank you very much, and welcome again to the Abelito Household uh, Assistant uh, uh, position. Thank you very much. Have a great, great day. Card? You can go in your room and do that. Yes, thank you. Can I you, you can keep your money in there. You have a.